obviously phase boots because I know a lot of players have not have been recently, but I know they were in the past. I actually can't believe Patch just got that denied, though. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go back in on him a little bit there. You got any mana burn mid lane? Hello. Mid one. You have gone in pretty deep. Gets the Searing Chains down onto Lil and does retreat himself back. He has no boots, though. He has no one a bit of space. The movement speed difference here. <laughs> Body blocks from Yapsor. Cool. Invis Sand King. Fair enough. 310 against the 360. There's, yeah, there's a 50 movement speed difference there between Clock and Ember. Yep, sort of even goes and gets the bounty rune with that Invis rune he's got. That was quite the play. Like, that was a dead Ember. Well, certainly, I would think. If Yep, sort hadn't come in. There was no mana on no one for a Sunstrike or anything. I think it would have been close. Yeah. What is true. close, though? So well, Pasha is close to death. It's like that'll be your first blood as he's dropped up on this top lane. First blood on the sand. Gets the kill as well. Nearly has his arcane boot. They're just waiting to see if they can catch a glimpse of maybe clockwork on another lane. Yapsor goes and collects the bounty rune. Pasha's gonna be like, yo, Sanking's here. <laughs> There's someone taking my runes, guys. What's Clockwork up to? He's found Kezu. Oh, he's invis as well. Oh, Trent. Traps him in the cog. Sunstrike is there and Kezu is dead. Lil takes the kill. We'll be going for that Treads into Battle Fury. How bland. No innovation. Yeah, we're gonna go for a solo smoke play here. Oh, they found oh, Lil. finds a clockwork. Mid one, remnants forward, Lil. Traps him in the cogs, but this is a cage you don't really want to be in as Lil. Lil is Sadly, a little Sadly, is he gonna get the stack? Let's see. Can he conquer these guys? He conquered them, he did it. Wait, who did what? Where? Ramsey's God. He's, he stacked the unstackables. Oh, very nicely done. Bot lane, Lil is going to die again, though. Once more, trapping mid one inside the cogs with him. The flame guard burns down. Things come out onto this ancient stack, and I think Secret are well aware. Oh, wait. Is that, is that Observer Ward? Yeah, they see it. It's inside. Yeah. Him. That was bizarre. It would be fog, right? How strange. Ramsey just pops the mask of madness. He's even got the Shadow oh, Word on smoke. him. Word. I know Yapsor is coming. Epicenter through onto Sven, but the Chaotic Offering to try and turn us back. The trouble is Sven is already dead. Mid one can turn to chase on to Solo. He gets the vacuum back. Kezu there and this Flame Guard Iron Shell. Ember Spirit running straight on through. Even dodges the Fisher. Kills off the Golem. Mid one. How much, how much gold did he get from that? To uh, punish the Shaker with impunity. Yeah, it's going to open up about a 1750 gold leak. Not bad. Puppy, are you going to die? No one. Not gonna go in for this. Turns back with a Crystal Nova. Now with a Ghost Walk down, but there's a Sentry yeah, available. Sentry. Frostbite. They want to know one with a Burrow Strike forward. Remnants as well. Mid one's coming on through. Good tornado though. Down the advance with the Searing Chains with a slight abyss. Definitely Blast holds them back. And now the Blink with the Echo Slam. Pasha clears up too. They killed up no one in the end, but Yamsor now he's got to turn. It's a Fatal Bonds that I'm most afraid of here for Secret. The fact that Solo's holding them to level four Fatal Bonds and Chaotic Offering. Two of them are going to go look for a fight as well. We saw this in their game up against PD, where the offlaner and oh, yeah. Solo were just like wandering <laughs> around. Was it Centaur they, plus? They gooned a couple too many times. It was, uh, what was it? it? Was it Centaur Warlock? It was definitely Centaur for Pasha. But uh, they kept trying to get these kills and never quite working out. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but it's a smoke from Secret at the same time. I'm trying to find Puppy in the back, but Secret are looking oh, it was to the Centaur front. Bane, but... Centaur Bane, you're right. They found Puppy. Sunstrike. Secures. Remnants forward though. Gets the double chains. The Brostrike lands as well. And in comes Secret. Mana Void not even needed. Mm. Two for one. And this. That one down. Top lane. Yapsor again with the initiation. Finds the Blink Borrow down onto Lil and mid one. Goes to travel forward. Clears him up. But Golden dropped here. And BP. There we go. Pasha. In with the Echo Slam of the Tornado. Not going to catch him. The Yapsor. Oh, no. Brostrike's away. Sandstorm there as well, but the Deafening Blast will hold him in place. Cancel out the Blink down with the Cold Snap as well. They've got the urn on him, and Yapsor's dead. Two for one. Well baited out and well reacted by Virtus Pro. All right. I think that's fair, this game. You are that poor. You have an AM and an Ember. Like, there's still games like where Midas is still so good. Uh, you have a Nog on your team. You have an Ember on your team. You have an AM on your team. Even if they're one-minute camps again, it's so hard to find the creeps sometimes with these heroes, even if you're Crystal Maiden. Basically, when you feel choked out by your own play, by your own yeah. teammates, when the map becomes so small because some of your players are so far ahead. Good initiation Plus, there from Pasha, uh, and Sunstrike does actually land. Again, pairing up nicely, no one and Pasha. They'll get you. Little poison spear tips. Look at Solo's strat here. Uh, like, MP nearly died. Yo! 
And to Mage nearly just died to the bloody Earthshaker again. But now they've caught Pasha. Finally the turnaround. The rotations come through from Secret. They look for Pasha and they look for more in the back. Lil. Gonna be chased by mid one. He's gonna change in two seconds time. The blade mail. Okay, Lil's found a blade mail out of absolutely nowhere, but he's still caught in the cogs. Finally brought down by Team Secret. Pezu has had a relatively quiet game, but he's got four staff mech now to split push and shove lanes as often. He just blinked as hard as they can. He has blink again, but there's the Echo Slam. Pasha lands it gorgeously onto the AM, and they finish him off 4v1. He didn't stand a chance. In the meantime, no one finds a tower mid lane, still holding the Aegis. They want to chase this. They want to find a kill, but he ghost walks. He goes invis. He runs north. He's hiding. He's hiding. Crafty. Going. Does he want to kill Puppy? He's going to go for this. He has the sentry. He has Aegis. Tornado's there. Ice Wall down as well. He an Alacrity Cold Snap. He's going to go for the Sun Strike. Puppy turns back with a Frostbite. Oh, no one. Too deep? No, he's not. Sunstrike, bam! Right in the kisser. That's such a firm grip on this game. Secret, sure, they split push, they move around the map, they try and find these little openings, these little maneuvers that they can play with, but they just don't seem impactful at all. Yeah, they're waiting for that high ground fight from Kezu, where if they can just... They, that was almost it, but they weren't quite all back in time. You know, they uh, they drew them in, forced them into a pressuring situation, where they were like, okay, we're going to pressure top, we're going to clean up the mid lanes, grab MP, so, well... Uh, another dunk thrown up by Pasha. It's it... still combo plays available for Secret. It yeah, might get Pasha. Yapsor has Dust. Nice. He's found the Yule Scepter play as well. Dust is there on Pasha. Yule's again to dispel it. And a Blink Dagger. No, the Burst Strike lands. Yapsor finds him. Pasha will pay for his insolence. At long last, Secret finds something. But Roshan is spawned. Scanned by the Dire. They know this hero's up on the high ground. Puppy moves forward and has his smoke dissipate. They found Solo. No one. Yeah, another tornado EMP. This time a vacuum wall does land on the two of them. No one BKBs is solo taken out of the game. The cogs. Oh, it traps oh, no one in. Block. Oh, it traps no one in. He ghost walks away. They've got a sentry there. They've got some reveal as well. But here's Ramses in with the damage of the god strength. And MP slammed. Destroyed by the Sven. Mid one has to run and hide as the freezing field from Puppy tries to slow them down. But the tornado catches them again. Burning through them all. And with the god strength still there, the call snap still active. It's easy work for Ramses to cleave through a couple of them. Ice Wall not going to land this time, but the Orchid and Tornado. The Mark. Printing out, but they've caught another one. It's Puppy in the back end. They just need like a little hit, a little touch, a love tap. Yeah, so we're Come on, Lil. Get him. Bop. I started from the Absor. <laughs> Lincoln's on Invoker, hey? Oh, back. You wanted to stun me, did you? Well. Four dead. Secret, not looking good. Kez was trying to push it up bottom and no one just not having any of it. Already down here on the way of ignoring Roshan. Sven is here too. Creeps are in the mid lane and Megas are on the mine. GP have done it. It's game over. Impressive. I mean, Shaker. Oh. This is the thing, like Sven is very bomb. And Invoker, you know, he won his mid lane. Everything was going well for VP. But you're right, I feel like it was past his Earthshaker that really just brought every he was the glue. He was the glue. Yeah. He brought everything together, found the picks on the AM when he was split pushing. It just alleviates all of this pressure that maybe you would have felt because killing off the AM once here and Amber Spirit once there. Astral as well. Everything pretty static right now. The thing is though, Kezu on his clockwork, can't really farm jungle, so if he gets pressured in lane, you know, if the Sand King does rotate up there to look for a kill, he does have to be on his toes and be a little bit careful about how he positions. And that's exactly what Lilla's doing. They've got vision over Kezu, they know he's moved forward, they're picking him out now near that large camp. They're not going to scout out Lil here, I don't think. Oh, he's pinged him. They've seen him. Oh, he's trapped, though. He's up on this cliff top, and he's got nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. The TV will wail on in with those illusions with the metamorphosis, and Kezu will be your first blood. Ramses claims it. Himself a nice chunk of gold. I mean, now you get the share of the experience. You know, usually you just leave them to deny to neutral. Now you get the share of the experience. You get uh, more efficiency. Lil's coming in again though, and Kezu once more far forward with no vision. They see him perfectly, and he walks straight into the creep wave. He burns back Ramses, but he's got glimpses of that kill. This is going to be another simple kill onto the clockwork. They don't even need to expend that many spells. Yeah, we saw with the Satyr Blast just coming through. That's dude. Go level in the Arcane Orb, so. 
20 in stolen now slowly ticking back down and oh my goodness gracious yeah, so on to mid, so OD gonna drop here to Lil and no one. Yamsaw's walked into the danger zone. Scorched Earth is up. So they've got another stun in three seconds time over on the Dragon Knight, but no mana on Lil. Follow through with another Borrow Strike. It's gonna be VP that... Smoke. Lil has... Yeah, Shrine in one shrine. second. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, Lil has no mana. What are they doing? Shrine up. They'll Iron Shell themselves as well. I wonder if... No one maybe planned to get in on that, but he saw the mid wave pushing in, and the mid one gonna get stunned up. No knows. one starts things off. Odie's caught with a static storm as well, and Lil holds the first strike waiting. Time to strike, maybe look for the secondary targets as the pause comes in from Ramses. Now, mid one can astral, but he is pretty certainly dead. Puppy with the no problem, good guy, puppy. What is Puppy, Unless, what is puppy yeah, doing? No. He runs away. Doesn't want to get involved, but they got the clip. Straight back into the stun, and Puppy's given a super. Easy freebie there for VP. <laughs> Ciao, Shaman, guys. <laughs> oh, the hook shot in, though. Kezu finally finds a jump in onto no one. Tries to kill off the cog. He's got himself an avenue out for the shackles land, and in comes MP. One, two, swipe. No one's still alive with the stick charges, but the ether shock and the Absor's blast of that Satyr spell, they will. I like the uh, the open wounds Midas play. My favorite part about Midas on Life Sealer. Oh yeah, seeing that uses some pretty clutch situations. Insta HP regen. Tezu with a hook shot available once more. No one. Hello. Oh, Do they crazy. have the damage though? Jump in with a cog. He stuns them back. Puppy drops the wards. That's where the damage will come from. Trap him in. Double cage there. Cogs and wards. Get out. Solo might get caught as well. Trying to hide from Odie, but mid one's found him. Glimpses him away. Not gonna be oh, that was such TP. a nice play. He after him and Solo is gonna die. Doesn't even get a ward down. Your one hope is that Glimpse TP and he just waits till the very last moment to Astro and ensure he'd have time to get back to him with VP. They're looking a lot better in series number two today. TP MP right back in though. Solo coming down. There's no static storm, but. Now they just put the epicenter, Kezu burned through, he hooks up back onto Solo, and finally gets dropped. MP rages through the glimpse, he turns back, he wants to try and find a drop, but it's slowly support, and in comes the stun. Puppy, burnt down by illusions here, Lil. That spot above her. Up into the trees, goes for the TP, but it can't stay out by the Infernal Blade. Lil has to burrow strike a little bit deeper, try and find another way to escape. He's buying time for... You know, his team to take There's maybe a, tier one mid lane or something like that. He's, here. he's, he's, he's running around, it. he's hiding, but he's dead. He's dead, right? Surely. <laughs> Knew it was coming. A lot of a tier one to work through here, and if it's a TV and a DK on bottom, I don't think he's going to top the Dragon Knight ulti. Yeah, and maybe if you had Serpent Wards, you could have thought about doing Roshan. Well, yeah. they were doing all of this, but you don't have it, so your options are kind of limited by Puppy's greedy play with the Ancients, but nonetheless, they'll move on to the tier one. VP don't seem like they're done yet. Moving up onto high ground. Those rotations back. Metamorphosis is still up for a, a good duration as no one has his dragon form up to level 2, tier 3. Falling quickly. Maybe force the glyph as well. Probably trying to zap them back with the evil shot. TP's coming through, thick and fast. And secret of the hook shot lands in. But Lil there with the burst strike. That is storm vacuum combo. Oh, VP, they've slammed them. Secret three dead outside their base. And this is going to be a tier three for them as well. All of a sudden, that went zero to 100 real quick. Is that melee rack? I think that's both. Also, think... OD got glimpsed, didn't he? I think that's a... Top. Oh, dear lord. Crash and burn versus pro. They found an opening and they exploited that so quickly. That is a very, very strong indication that VP know they're ahead. They want to keep being ahead and they want to end the game as soon as possible. Desolator on the infested life dealer inside of Kezu. The Absorb blocking the uh, blocking the route maybe he was looking to hook into. Won't go in for it just yet as the glimpse is there. The vacuum onto Poppy, but the hook shot infests. They jump in onto no one. Static Storm is dropped down. Serpent Wars are doing a lot of damage and they'll finally finish off Pasha, but no one wailing in with a BKB from the back end is zoomed up. 
Armlet still ticking over as well, so he's losing a lot of HP, but mid one, mid one, trapped inside. Oh, the epicenter from Lil. Catches with a burst strike as well. Yapsil oh, dropping low, but the Sunder is there. MP dropping now as well. He's gonna die. A double kill for Ramses, and they can clear up these serpent walls. They can look for more kills if they want to. Lil jumps forward, burst strike in onto Yapsil. The Doom try and run this one off, but it's not gonna be easy. Then he switched back to Tread. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't want the Midas anymore. I was, gonna, I was just about to say, you know, with the triple Midas, they're 10,000, they're worth behind. It's not looking good for them, but at least, at least Kezu now has some kind of you know, item to help battle. A Serpent Ward to drop inside the pit. The illusion is taken care of by the OD Arcane Orb, but BT are not going to give this one up for free. DK pops his ult, has well, the DKB, the, the vacuum into the storm! Perfect combo with a Borrow Strike, and this might just be game. MP shredded inside, and Virtus Pro, the synergy, the plays. Puppy tries to shackle, but there's no way that he can get out of this one. Four dead, the fifth one, Yapsaw, retreating as quickly as he can. But Virtus Pro found him with a glimpse back into field. Lil with the stun available, but good game called. It's going to be a 2-0 easy victory in a special three by BB, and they'll be the ones facing Empire in the grand finals. That was a great dragon. I mean, that's what I would say. Really smart people would have seen that one coming. 906 for Ramsey, so finally gets the praise he's been deserving all day.